Alrighty, we're gonna wire up the CNC unit. Um, bought a Halkolin controller from Vital Systems. Or use Mach 4. I figured Mach 4 would be a good idea. <coughs> I don't know. Um, 72 volt, 1400 watt power supply. Gecko drives. I bought a separate 5 volt. Din rail and a 24 volt din rail. I snap on, I wire it up to supply, put the ends on there, and solder the ends. I think it'll be a good idea to solder the ends. Anybody who does any soldering, keep the tip clean. I just put it in there until it gets hot. If you solder the ends, you won't have issues after I crimped it. There, it's starting to melt in there now. Flow is nice. Make sure you use solder design for the wiring with the minimal flux core on it. Otherwise, if you use that stuff with acid in it, it's not good. It's some nice thin stuff from Newark Electronics. Or Wherever you're gonna buy them. This is just to start to wire this thing up. I've never wired a CNC unit before, so this will be the first. Can't be that difficult. I've wired data rooms before. That's just similar. I guess on a smaller scale, I don't know. You could use a solder gun too if you have one, but this is cleaner, it's easier and I own it, so I don't know. I got a solder gun and it's big and bulky. Okay, I mounted everything on this metal plate that came with this box that I found at a local surplus place. And all the HGR surplus, or HGR industrial, they're on the internet by the way, you can, I only paid 50 bucks for this giant box and it's brand new, some guts in it. I found these things, marine connectors, I figured they'd work out okay. I'm just going to put these on here, just positive and negative voltage, supply it up. It's separate ones for 24, uh, for 72 volt. And from the looks of everything, all the grounds are the same in these things. So, with that said, everything is going to go to this big bus bar on the one side here, the ground. The wires on. Came with big nuts on the end so I can. The supplies right on there. I seen some guy on YouTube, you on eBay, using thumb screws. I thought that was kind of stupid. Why would you need to thumb screw this? I guess if you thumb screw it, you're waiting for problems. That <laughs> you need to undo the wires all the time. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's the power. And all I got to do is supply these two with voltage. I use a 110. I use this din rail thing that I found on the internet and put it together to separate all my 110 volt put in a 20 amp fuse got my 5 volt 24 volt and I got these gecko drives and I made this heat sink that I cut off this giant block down here somewhere made it small maybe it's too big I don't know but I did all these and drilled and tapped which was a real pain and now I'm gonna you gotta use this stuff have this stuff forever. Put this stuff on there. It's, it's a thermal heat sink compound to help the heat separate. You don't need a lot of it. Put it on there like so. The heat sink's already super flat, so it should connect pretty good. Just kind of 
I don't know if this is overkill or not, but they say these things are get hot. To get hot, they're gonna burn up. I think I've had this bucket for this heat tank compound for like 15 years. It's been around forever. I don't use much of it. I don't really use any of it. I made five of these things on this heat sink in case I do drive number three. If I was to do this all over again, I think I would use the new this new clear steppers or whatever they're called, the drives and the, everything all in one. I think that would have been a lot nicer, but that was found out about them after I put all this stuff. So, let's see. I'll put all these in there. It's kind of important, I guess, to tighten these down pretty tight to make sure the heat transfers. It's going to be a lot more wiring on this damn thing. But these holes were a lot of work. Broke several drill bits. And Next time I buy the plate or any drill it made, it'll be a lot easier. I just bought the plate to this. It'll be way easier and faster. Took all day to drill these holes. Top of my mark machine or so. These take me longer. are all going to drive an even 34 motors which are sitting over here. Here's the power supply of these motors. Hopefully, I don't know if they're too big or too small, but we're going to find out. I think it'll be better than using the 24s while I was at it. Two more screws to put in here. the drives, wire the drive up to the controller and power the controller. I figure once the 5 volt and 24 volts hooked up, it's the 72 volts this is going to go to the controller. It just goes to the, according to the paperwork I read, but it just goes to these drives, the input on the drive. I just hope all this works. It's been a lot of work. I have a, I thought there's an extra spot for it. Secondary, I mean a fifth access. Maybe cup pipe or something. I don't know if I use the damn thing. I'll put the screws in it. I won't lose them. will be in there. I'll use a machine screw because I couldn't figure out anything else to use to hold these things down. The mounting on these things sucks. I think they're giving you a little more spot to grab bolts and screws. It's not. And you got these little clips that kind of put on straight down. They're going to hold all the wires. It seems like there's a lot of current capability in this, but I don't know. It is what it is. I didn't build it.
Ooh, I don't think they'd be too tight, just enough to hold them there. I'm gonna put a heatsink pump on and squeeze down. take a little while to wire up I'm gonna make another video with them I get more I sit here and film this for hours and hours and bore everybody but that and everybody wants to know how to cook a way to strip some wire without ruining the shield I mean, you can you can do this and kind of strip some of the wires and do that you're not good at that. Take the soldering iron. Just kind of melt it. Like that. It's not going to burn your fingers. Well, it never, this way you don't nick a strand. And then clean the tip with a wet sponge. Or you're going to ruin your tip. Some of the things you need to do is soldering. Put some solder on the tip and kind of shake it off or wipe it off, one or the other. Keep the tip clean. And that's about it. I'll wire up some more wires again. I'm going to make this 5, 24, the main ground, and the 72 volts. And that should do it for now. Alrighty, got the controller all wired up. This is uh, using these ground over here, main ground, the uh, the high voltage, the 48 volts, the uh, Integra Vital Systems controller, the 5 volts, the 24, the Gecko drives. I temporarily got it on a stand on the table here just to see this thing work. Got some fuses here to protect the 24 volts. And two separate power supplies, 24 and 5, 48. And it does work. After all this work, it does work. Um, I'm still wiring up some more stuff and then I'm gonna put this thing in a box. And I got a box over here. I got this big box. Put it in that thing there uh, and he stop and everything but right now i wired it up i put the motors in there i wired up these connectors put them on there um i'll get it tidied up i just wanted i had to see the thing work after like a year of goofing around with this thing i need to finish it um i don't have the z drive made yet I'm gonna just probably just buy one off eBay. I'm tired of making stuff. I do have it working. It does work. Um, I'm using Mach 4, which is really difficult because there's not a lot of information in this thing. But the unit does jog. You turn it on, and it does. Uh, I can jog around. I can. Let's see the screen a little bit. It's cold out here. But it does, uh... It does move pretty good. It does move pretty good. I mean, I'm still learning how to use Mach 4 a little bit and figuring out how to use the rest of those programs. But um, everything seemed to work really well from Vital Systems. I'm kind of happy I did this with them. I don't have any issues yet. Uh, that's about it for now until I get this thing permanently wired up. I think that's going to be the next step. Right now I'm just running uh, soft limits on it. I'm going to wire up the hard limits. I just ordered some more wire and switches. It's, this thing's turning into an endless money pit. That's, anyway, that's about it for that.